Hey guys, I have a question for you. When you're buying a used jersey, how do you know you are buying a legit, authentic, official, licensed product or just a fake one? In this video, I'm gonna be talking about that. So please stick around, but before, consider subscribing to my channel if you like soccer jerseys and make sure you hit the like button and smash the notifications one and then you know when I have a new video coming. Let's talk about jerseys. Hello guys, Mr. Jersey here. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how can you spot the difference between a fake or a legit, authentic, official product. Let's start by the name. Uh, big companies like Nike, Adidas, you know, Puma, all the brands actually, they call, they give names, product names to the player issue version of the jersey and another name for the fan version of the jersey. So, and Adidas call replica for the fan version one, which in my humble opinion, this is a big mistake. You should not use replica in the name because cause a confusion in the market. I feel like um, people selling fake jerseys usually identify their products as replica, fan version, which is like, it's fake. So I'm gonna give you a few tips about how can you actually spot if that jersey is a fake one or not. Let's start with Adidas. So I have this like ooh up here. How do you know if this is authentic or not? I'm gonna show you. When you are seeing this online, ask for the internal tag picture. Ask for the inner tag, which will have this. And basically the style number here. So they are gonna all have that. So the counterfeiters, they have a little bit of trouble to do this. You can tell, of course, by the fabrication, by a few other details, but my trick is I look at the inner tag. Among other things, but like, I think this is decisive when I'm buying a jersey. So, and how do you know it's the right number? You can Google that. You can e easily Google that. You go in the eBay, people that are selling authentic products they will actually post a picture of the official product. So you can compare if the one you are buying is the uh, official legit one or not. So this is one example, Lau. Let me show you the Nike one. Maybe I have some other Adidas one, maybe not. So uh, I have this amazing US one, I forgot the year, but I have it in my Instagram page. So if you are not following Mr. Jersey on Instagram, please make sure you do. It's uh, at MR double underscore jersey. I have a lot of jerseys there, so you can take a peek. I'm not selling them, it's just, you know, for fun. Um, so the Nike one, as I am actually showing you guys here, let me see here, has an internal tag here somewhere, here we go. And usually, it's not, you don't pay attention a lot of, of, about this tag here. This tag can be longer, can be shorter, usually, they are a little bit shorter now, or maybe they were shorter before. I think they were shorter before. So this is an old one. And the style number is over here. So you can do the same trick. Go online and check for the number. You can actually easily find, especially the Nike ones, and then you see uh, if it is a legit, authentic product or not. I had a situation that I was going to buy this US jersey at this app, and seems like it was a new one. I was like, wow, it's a new one, but it was like 2017. It was a US one. And the guy posts a picture of the tag, the hanging tag, right? Had the style number. And I was like, hmm, that's an interesting style number. It was not matching with my research. And then I asked for a picture of the internal tag. Uh, and then he posted a picture. Probably the guy was not so aware that he was actually selling a fake product. The internal tag had completely different number of the hanging tag. I let him know, the guy was so mad at me, but I was like, man, and I was super nice with him. I, I told him to, hey, uh, you may not be aware, but those products, when you search these, those style numbers, is gonna find like a PSG or like some other club, Barcelona, I think as well, not the US team jersey. So anyway, the guy was a little bit jerk. Uh, he did not react so well. But you know what? He ended up selling, he changed the pictures. 
uh, he deleted of course the other picture and he ended up selling it and probably whoever bought it thinks that was original one like a official one it was not so be aware of that guys if you are buying if you want to buy legit authentic products make sure you check the tags let me show the puma one uh, i have a chili one prior to chili move to nike this was some dude puma was doing a terrific job uh, for chili and i believe nike is still doing a good job uh, i like the chili ones uh, and i learned that with my friend dg i forgot his name oh my god uh, it's on instagram he's great he's from ecuador you know i'm talking to you um, take a look at that here's how he spot internal tag as well there's a little bit of you know stitching in the tag there's a style number here somewhere as well so that's how you know if it is a puma product they have to have the stitching in the tag so same thing with this amazing borussia dortmund with rails in the name in the back here you go i'm gonna show you puma and stitching here as well uh, what else i have here oh there's a tricky one. Oh, i have another nike one here as well and this one we're gonna just show you a difference about the tag remember when i showed you the tag of the nike one was short this is a bit longer now but it still have a smaller tag with the style number but it's longer and they have a couple i believe this is how they are doing now uh, the umbra ones are, are the tricky ones sometimes they don't have what i expect them to have uh, most of them i believe the old ones will have an internal tag here with maybe the style number on the back the size and this other tag but some others they don't so the umbra one i find a little bit difficult i just bought like a west ham uh, third key to one 2016 17 maybe and I had a hard time actually to identify but I was able to find someone that had the jersey and I compared the tags because the guy uh, posted a picture of the tag one good indication if the guy is selling the official legit authentic licensed product he's gonna answer your questions he's gonna post the pictures you want you ask that's a great advice that I got from another great collector Caio Prazeris Caio um, Under Armour, Under Armour as well have internal tag here with the style number here in the back too. So this is a Colo Colo one. In case you're not seeing, this is a training top, I believe. Mexico one, Adidas. Adidas one, super easy. It's in the shoulder area boom and the new balance one the new balance one i don't remember let me check yeah the new balance has something very interesting it has this kind of tag i don't know if you can see it there are some colors on it it's kind of a different tag i don't know the name of that it has a big tag here i don't see actually style numbers but the new balance one is a tricky one I don't have a lot of New Balance jerseys. I have some. The um, Liverpool one from, I don't remember the year, maybe 2017, 18, maybe. Sick. Uh, I have a Penalty one. Penalty is a Brazilian company one. So, uh, oh man, this Portuguese one is sick. Penalty Cavalera. Uh, number 10 in the back. I like the. You know, um, Pedro de Cavalera logo here. I post this on my Instagram, so check it out, my Instagram page as well. So this one has also a tag, but I mean, this is an old one. This a Brazilian tag, it's all in Portuguese. It does not have like the style number, but you kind of can tell that's the official product. That's it guys. Hope this video helps you to differentiate a licensed, authentic product, a legit one, from a fake one. Okay? Uh, if you love jerseys, consider to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, smash the notifications button, and you know when I have the new video for you. Alright? Mr. Jersey out! <laughs>